What's up, GoPro? Hanging out today. Fish number one, hanging out with my guy, Gene Webster. Gene Brasstown Beef Man. North Carolina fishing legend. Lake Wiley, is that your home body? That is. Lake, Lake Wiley. Wiley yeah. He's out on Chatoog today. Just call this one on a little top water deal right off in front of the troll motor. Today, Gene wanted to take a look at the pan optics. And look, check this out. We got a fish right here, just 30 some foot out off the boat. So right out in front of that trolling motor that way. And as I pan right, look, there's another one. So here's one up under us swimming right now. But today we're gonna use the pan optics to locate brush piles and find schools that are suspended on top of these brush piles and throw top water out over them. And that's how we're gonna find them. They're schooling just kind of out here chasing bait around. They're chasing around thread fin. Every once in a while you find a thread fin spine in the live well, and sometimes they're eating big herring. So anyways, first largemouth right there, probably two pounder, maybe a little less, but we're gonna get after it, work around these points. A lot of brush is just kind of out here 50 yards off the bank because guys know the deal. Anyways, stick with us. off to our left the pan optics there was a school that kind of broke out in front of us and then they followed the wake bait all the way in there he is you miss it they followed it all the way in well I just kind of panned off to our left and I saw these fish out there at 50 foot and a uh, little fella but he counts but that's what's so unique you know you're just panning around you're looking off to your left, you're looking off to your right, you never know when they're gonna show up. And uh, not a giant, but big old fat belly on that thing, boy, look at that thing. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm not to worry about Smith Lake in Alabama. They do this everywhere. Driving nuts. Oh, I heard that. Yeah. Man. It is bad. He sounded good. <laughs> Look at all these things that come down here. Gosh, dude, that's unreal. I've got... How far out are they? They look like they're about 65 foot, 70 yeah. foot, 50 foot. So, kind of hard to see with the glare. But you can see there's some fish out there. I'm going to turn a little bit. Look at all those fish. Oh my gosh. So they're out there 70 foot, 20 foot of water. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. All right, Gene, what just happened? Well, I sat down and I threw a hook in my hand. Hold You're about to show me how to get it out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Here you go. Take this. I'm going to clip that off. All right. Slid that out. And now we need some big, heavy braid. You think we can use fluorocarbon? Oh, yeah. I think it'll work. Oh, 
Dude, I've never even done this trick. Have you not? I do it every <laughs> week, it seems like. I know, I imagine. So take that line, wrap it a couple times around. That's why they like using braid with it. It's because it, uh, it's a fabric and it lays better. All right, so you take the line, get it cinched down real, real tight right there to the skin, and then push down on that booger, pop it out. It's recording now. Gene just caught that big stud. Look at the gut on that thing. Actually, look, you can actually see the outline of some herring in its gut right there. Mm -hmm. Big dog. Fat dog, at least. Not big. Uh, speaking of looking at herring, look at Oh, dude, shake him upside down. Shake him upside down until that thing comes out. Let's see if he comes out. Oh, man, this is gnarly. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's what they're eating. That is sick. That's Oh, God. Oh god, you got him. That's, that's a good watch, watch yourself with the GoPro. That is a big dog. Say 10. That is the biggest one of the day. See him jump on. He literally jumped on it. Them boogers are mean. Bent out that back hook. <sighs> Just caught this big old fat one. I gotta keep. I gotta remember to hit record. I keep forgetting to hit record with some of the fish today. This is a big dog right here. He's hooked all sorts of ways. Big spot. He had that. Well, he's not big, but definitely a panoptics fish. Saw him on top of the brush, threw over the brush with the top water, came up and cracked it. Good little spot, about a two and maybe a quarter pounder. Is it a big one? I, I didn't get a good look at it. Strike, <laughs> strike was worth it. Look at it. Uh, I was like, yeah, pretty nice on that. Yeah, it is. I was like, are you throwing out there? <laughs> no, not yet. Like that. <laughs> oh my 
I'm talking about pinned right in the roof of his mouth. Look at this. Watch this. <laughs> Freaking pig, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I turned away, too, because I heard the bill. I left the bunch of bills on. dirty right there didn't hit record but literally right after i caught that one he caught that one that one's a fatty look at the gut on that fish god awesome what lures in his mouth don't say i can't say We had like 17 and a half. I'd say at least 17. Let's go. Book a trip. Dream catchers fishing. Dream catcher guides out here Lake Chitou with my boy Gene using the pan optics. We had it all today. We had a grind in the morning. My boy Gene, while we're spiraling out of control, getting hooked. And then just like that, end of the day, little bite window, we whacked them. We whacked them. That's how it goes down. Book a trip. 828-354-0250. Dream catcher guides, Lake Chitou. We out.